as the Aussie backyard shrinks and more and more of us are living in high rises and apartments, the dream of having an actual garden might seem out of reach. But while real estate is getting tighter, there are still lots of different ways that you can green up smaller spaces. Hey, Graham, you made it. Come on in. Thanks, mate. G'day. Hello, Hi. how are you, Lee? Good to see you. Good. And who's this? This is Schnitzel. Schnitzel, wow. Full of energy, by oh, golly. Yes. Ah, how long have you guys been here? About six months. Yeah, a bit of renovation happening. You can see the paint swatches on the wall. Well, we're here to see the, the deck, the veranda. Yes. Yeah, hopefully you can help us with that. I can certainly try. Whoa, it's a big area, isn't it? But there's not very much going on. It's a little bit boring, a little bit bland. Um, it's all one colour, really, so it'd be nice to liven it up, bring some colour in. Right. No, there's not a lot going on. What would you like? I'd like some greenery, I'd like vertical gardens, and I'd like somewhere to sit down because I've got some furniture coming. Well, the good thing is, you're facing north through there. I had a look as I was coming in, so that means lots of sunlight. You can grow a lot more stuff. It's easier to look after. OK, well, you've given me an idea what you would like. First up, we've got to clear the deck, get all this stuff out. Right. <laughs> Now, I'll take those from you, put them just down there. My vertical garden is actually going to be over here, and it's going to look very, very different. Sounds great. First up, how are you drilling? I'll give it a go. OK, there's the drill. Go for it. Then we're securing a couple of hooks to hang our feature on. OK, now, what we've got is some stainless steel wire. Yep. We've got these little metal plates, which we're cutting into sections. We've got some wire rope grips. That'll be really handy. And, of course, the pots, and it just all comes together. Okay, now, that just keeps the pots dirty. Yeah, pull that through. There you go. Now, you've got to get the plants in. All these plants have got to take plenty of sunshine and heat, and the ivy will be great. These are Bambino Bougainvilleas, dwarf, compact, very few to next to no thorns. In fact, any of the thorns are quite soft. These are little Calancurries. It's a great little succulent, so it'll take plenty of heat. But look at that, that's tangerine. That's a great colour. These little pot filters are really handy. I just cut them in there and then just slip them over the wire. They'll slow the drainage of the water, but also hold the soil in place so it's not going to be messy all over your veranda. Now, if you can get up there, I think I can manage. It's all coming together. Don't forget, if you're adding anything to your balcony, you need to get body corporate approval and always check safety regulations, especially as you get up at different levels for children. Something you could easily knock up in a weekend. Looks great, adds instant living colour and provides a little curtain of privacy as well. OK, Lee, there you go. Now, you didn't like your bare wall. How's that for a substitute? Much, much better. That's it looks better, fantastic. It? Now, we've just had the boys knock these up, but in fact, you could get them at a second-hand store. An old ladder would be great. Yeah. You'd get those uh, sometimes on the side of the road. you pick them up, do them up, and it's just perfect because perfect. now we can put your herbs and all the flowers right at hand. Sounds good. Excellent. Now you're really getting your herbs going. You've got sage there. In fact, lots of sage here too. Uh, we've got some basil. We've got some horseradish. Perfect. Strawberries. They'll just cascade down. This is actually a little marigold, but it's it's got the flavour of licorice. And, of course, some beautiful varieties of the echinacea. Well, we've got a few more gaps we can fill up. Now, for our last project, you wanted a breakfast nook just here. I didn't want legs on a little table taking up more space, but I heard you're a boiler maker and a welder. How good's that? And you've made up a couple of brackets for me. I have indeed. Now, you can put little angle brackets on here, but these are even better, stronger. If you can put those up, we can put our little table on your brackets. Now, that is a breakfast bar. Looks pretty good, Graham. 
Just a couple more bits to add and I reckon we're ready to christen our new look balcony with a barbecue. I think we should get Lee out and uh, see what she thinks. I think we should. Hey, Lee. Oh, my goodness. That looks fantastic. Well, Will, you've been busy as well. I have. It's so much bigger. It's great. Thank it, you. It does look bigger, doesn't it? It does. Well, what was a boring brick wall, now you've got colour, interest, and, of course, veggies and herbs, the whole shebang. Fantastic. It looks amazing. I love the bench, and those pots look amazing as well. Graham, it's so much greener, it's more private, and I think it's more inviting. What a great spot. Have a look at the garden. It's beautiful. We're definitely going to spend a lot more time out here. I think so. Well, that is great news.